I already showed you two methods of how to download file from URL in one of my previous videos. They are really good, but not the only methods. In this video I'm going to present you how to download file from URL using WinHttp and ADODB methods. How to understand mix of those methods? In simple words, send request to the server of specified URL, put the request response body into created data flow, I mean stream, and save to the specified location. Having this little imagination, we can start coding. So to be able to use ADODB, we need to send the request using WinHttp object. First of all, let's see the reference to have the possibility to use early binding. In my case, it is Microsoft WinHttp services version 5.1 in options references. Having then done, we can declare and set the WinHttp object. Now it's time for URL of the file to download. For the URL example, we will use the meme from the how to download file from URL article. Then, we can open and send the request to the server to get the file. There is one last thing before we can go to the second part of our approach. We need to pass the path for the new file. Not to complicate the things, we will just take the path of this workbook and type picture1.jpg for the name of the file. Ok, there is everything what we will require to pass to the ADODB method to download the file. To be able to use early binding of ADODB, we have to set the Microsoft ActiveX data objects reference. To be able to save the file using save to file function, we have to set the Microsoft scripting runtime reference. So firstly, we need to declare and create new ADODB stream. Secondly, we should create, I mean open the stream and set its type as binary. And there goes the most important part we will write to the stream the response body property of the WinHttp object and setting the stream position to the start. To use the save to file function, we will declare and set the file system object of the scripting library. And finally, we can save and close the downloaded file. Gathering all together, there are two subroutines to have everything nice and clear. I hope it will be another useful alternative to download from URL. If you like this video, please leave a like down below and if you want to be updated about my latest uploads, please hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate that. Also, check out my website simplyxlvba.com and my Facebook profile. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.